Attention, Giants fans, we have a crisis. You say, what do you mean? We just lost four games to the Dodgers. They just swept us in all four games. That is terrible. Yes, but it gets a little bit worse than just four straight losses. You know what the, this one sentence says on sfgiants.com? First of all, let me give you the background of the article. Well, the article is basically about Gabe Kapler's reaction, how he said basically, not good enough, this is just not an acceptable level of play for us. That is the essence of what he said. And it also talks a lot about the Giants' defense, which is below average as a team. The Giants are just not great on defense. That is not, I hope we realize, what's costing the Giants these games. I already talked about that. It's because they don't have relievers that can pitch out of jams. So I hope we're not just going to go and blame the defense for half the problem, because I don't believe it's a quarter of the problem, at least as of right now, in this series against the Dodgers. Because the relievers cannot pitch out of jams, then, I said this yesterday, I'll say it again today. Do the Giants come back in the ninth inning? No, as of recent, they do not. But we've got an even bigger problem now. This is a crisis that should get the attention of every Giants fan. Here's what the specific sentence, this, this descriptive sentence in the article, the not good enough article, said. Despite their disappointing weekend, the Giants remain within striking distance of a playoff spot, although they may be forced to reconsider their stance at the deadline if they continue to slip in the standings. Did I get it word for word? I probably didn't, but you get the point. You just listen to that. Although, they're in striking distance of a playoff spot, but, like something else could happen, if they continue to slip in the standings, they may be forced to reconsider what their stance will be, which was originally buying on the market at the trade deadline. That is the crisis right now. That it appears that there is some kind of a possibility that the Giants will turn out not to be buyers, in fact, at the trade deadline. That whether they would sell or just not do too much, well, I, I think they would sell because they'd, you know, like Alex Woods on a one-year deal, but whether he got traded anyway, I don't know how much of an impact that would have. Question then would be who would replace him. That's not really the point, though, here. The point is they need, in addition to their roster, that they need quite a bit of help at the trade deadline. I already mentioned Juan Soto himself is quite a bit of help. But, but you listen to that sentence and the crisis it poses, that if the Giants continue to slip in the standings, and right now they are two games behind the Cardinals for the final National League wildcard spot, if they continue to slip in the standings before the deadline on, on August 2nd, they may be forced to reconsider their stance, meaning they basically that they may be, be forced to reconsider whether they're going to trade for more good players or whether they are going to basically call it a year. That's what we've got here. If they lose more, you know what it means? It means they need help just more than they ever could have before. That's what it means to me. It may not necessarily be what it means to Farhan Zaidi if he thinks it's hopeless by the time we get to the trade deadline. He could call the buying plan off. He really, that, that's what it seems like. They could reconsider their stance. Like, like basically aggression at the trade deadline could be dipping or I would think it could even be going away altogether. That's the crisis, and if the Giants' top executives feel that way, that is a pretty good indication that they need to start winning some games just to get to this August 2nd trade deadline where they can get some players. Now, I want to mention a couple of other stuff in that article. It was mentioned that the Giants could look that Farhan Zaidi and the Giants' front office could look for younger players to help fill in the gap with defense a bit. That, that could be what they're looking at. Now, is Soto a young player? Yeah, he's 23 years old. Giants could look for young players to fill in 
the defensive issues a little bit. Now, is that a completely bad goal? No, it is not. But I also don't know that defense has really been carrying it. To me, it's, it's some other issues that could compensate for this if they were fixed. I'm a little concerned by that statement that they could be thinking a lot about that, thinking about getting defense at the trade deadline and specifically with some younger players. If, if they're looking first at defense, and that, that, that doesn't mean anything about whether they'd prioritize it above offense. I, I don't think the article said anything like that. It just said defense is an issue for the Giants because they're 29 outs below average so far this year. But it concerns me a little if that's going to be one of the top things they're looking for at the trade deadline. To me, it's it, it could be compensated for by hot offense and hot pitching. It's, it's just maybe, ha, have I done all of the research? Well, no, I have not, but it's, it's just going to concern me a little bit if if defense becomes the primary goal. And it also, the article also mentioned they could still use another arm or two for their bullpen. I agree with that, they could use it, but it, it better be, look, I would say you either get the best relievers in the game, add a couple of those on, or you still try to add on Juan Soto. We're not really looking in the middle for guys that are pretty good, but that you you still ha are, are going to have that uncertainty about whether they're going to consistently be able to pitch out of runners in scoring position situations, which is what the Giants bullpen has done an inex inexcusably terrible job in this series against the Dodgers. So that's th there's one danger, I think, if defense becomes the primary issue for the Giants around the time of the deadline, and they say, okay, we're just looking to fix this defense problem. I personally think that's a danger because it, it, it may just not really looking for defense at the trade deadline is not going to put the Giants sights I don't think on the best players in baseball because you when you look at the best players in the game it's usually their offense is going to show up first thing. So if, if the Giants looked at defense first for any significant amount of players they'd be thinking of acquiring at the trade deadline, then I'd wonder, is the offense going to be just a bummer? Which, that would be a problem. It, it, and defense is not just some secondary thing where the best defenders are, are not good hitters because they spend so much time on the defense. No, no, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying I think when you're looking for defense first, it's going to take you away, or at least it could take you away, from really trying to get the game's best players because you look at that and there are plenty of players in baseball who are above average defenders who would really bat near the bottom of a lineup and can sometimes be liabilities in the lineup, or at least they don't hit consistently. So if, if that's confusing to anybody, just email me. I'll try to explain it more clearly. But that's my concern if they go after defense. And, and to sum up the other concern, yeah, I would say it's, it's just consistency with the bullpen. There's going to be a lot of competition, by the way, for Juan Soto. Padres and the Dodgers, the Yankees, I think, are in that mix. A lot of teams that want to land him. Just a lot of competition. The Giants. We still haven't answered the question for sure, should they do anything to get him? Here is one thing of which I am convinced. The Giants should not show any less aggression if they slide a bit in the standings by, by way of getting Juan Soto. They should not show any less aggression because of the recent hard times that they've had in their games than they would have otherwise shown if they had, say, let's say if they had swept the Dodgers. They got swept by the Dodgers. No less aggression on trying to get Soto than they would have shown had they swept the Dodgers. It's just the way it is because they need him even more now. Didn't I say that at like the end of every single game? And I'm not apologizing for saying that either. 
So, to sum up the crisis, there seems to be a possibility the Giants' aggression will decline if they're playing before the trade deadline does. Th that's the crisis. We won't have to throw up our hands if the Giants can start to win. They're playing the Diamondbacks now. The Diamondbacks are below the Dodgers, not as good of a team as the Dodgers, and, and things need to get better so that the Giants will be motivated. My opinion is not going to change. Whatever happens, the worse it goes, the more the Giants need the trade deadline. I think this is a contention year. Nothing should deter them. But am I making the front office decisions? No, I'm not. Therefore, the Giants' motivation to be aggressive might be everything here. Thank you so much for watching. Remember where you can email me with questions or comments, gabrielvaughn89 at gmail.com. Please subscribe if you have not. Thank you so much for everyone, everyone who has subscribed. I'll see you next time on Giants Baseball 101.